this is coming from the EFCC. EFCC has been, you know, they've been this, will I call it a kind of purge. Uh, the EFCC have been going after those that walked to Buari, how much they stole and all that, trying to recover some of these funds. But you know the hype now. Just like when Buari came into office, Buari went after the PDP people. They were recovering money. They were sending people to jail and Nigerians were happy. Uh, they were like, oh, we want to fight corruption. And so many Nigerians went and relaxed, thinking that Buari really, really came to fight corruption. And at the end of Buari's tenure, Buari's government was ranked to be one of the worst as in terms of corruption, the most corrupt government Nigeria has ever experienced. You know, when they started, they, they showed Nigeria that signal that they wanted to fight corruption. But at the end of the day, they became the worst government ever in terms of corruption. So the Tinubu's administration is also taking that route. They've now come, you know, the EFCC is going after some of those that worked uh, with it. Uh, who are you know trying to recover some funds kudos to them yes we want that to happen everybody should support this because we saw the height of rascality during the time of buari you know all the battle loot that were returned nobody came out to like account to nigerians and so we use this for this we use this for this this is the balance that is that was left so we channeled it on, on this project nobody gives us that breakdown you know and we saw Buhari's government buried a lot both internally and externally, and we don't have any accounts on how all those monies were used, even up to today. So this government now has started cracking down some of those that worked with Buhari. They are like saying, oh, the money that they, they made away with are huge. So they don't have any option, if not to like go after them to see if they will recover some of this one. Kudos to them. That's job well done. But will they give Nigerians breakthrough, as in breakdown, sorry, after uh, they've recovered all this money? Will they tell us what and what they are going to be using this money for? So the EFCC arrests humanitarian ministries contractor probes for Buari ministers. There are a lot of them who are undergoing this probe at the moment. And honestly, for me, that is a very good news that Nigerians should expect more of. And uh, this is from Sokoto State, Bafa, Bafarawa. He's saying that it will be disastrous if Tinubu does not probe uh, Buari. Yes, because so many people are saying even MFLA is being crucified. Is he just being crucified because he didn't support the uh, Tinubu's uh, campaign and all that? Or is he being crucified because he, it was him being crucified? Because people are like, if you want to crucify Mefele, don't leave Buhari alone. He's the one that approved most of the things that Buhari, uh, that Mefele did during that time. So Tinubu's anti-graft chief indicts Ibrahim uh, Gambari Zenab. Ahmed for looting. You can imagine this amount of money, Nigerians. This is in trillion, not in billions. Neither is it in millions. This is in trillions. They looted this money with MFLA, outlines criminal charges. Hmm. So many things. I'm saying so many heads will still rule on all this. There are a lot to uncover. Possibly by the time they start investigating this, so many other revelations will be made open. But as it stands now, do you think the APC will really want to fight corruption? Uh, and you know their way. If you are a member of the opposition or anywhere you are from, and once you join them, they want to protect you, not to talk of prosecuting their own person. Do you think it's going to be possible? They just want to flex muzzle so that Nigerians will see them to be oh people that really mean well for Nigeria. Anyway, we are yet to know all that. So Nigeria anti anti corruption board the EFCC uncovers 37 billion. This is just for this Ministry of uh, Humanitarian Affairs. You know, this one, their own is 37 billion. Why the one I read before, this one is talking about 17.3 trillion not in billions nigerians hmm. oh my god it is the masses who suffer all this if this is really true that these people were just busy squandering this kind of this amount of money then it calls for worry what are these leakages that we can't even fix in nigeria why is it that our systems are not automated why is it that we can't bring in all these simple simple uh you know programming uh, experts who will just come and do one or two things in just a matter of hours and Nigeria will have a system that will not just allow people to make away with our money, will just steal our money without considering the hardship Nigerians are going through. Why should we be in such a mess as if Nigerians are not educated? We don't have people who are smart, who can come or and set up, you know, a system that will help us block all these kind of leakages. 
Look at the money being mentioned here. In billions when we don't have good hospitals. Buari was busy traveling outside the country, you know, to go attend, uh, have a medical attention. And most times when he travels with the, 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 his private jet, I mean the private jet belonging to the federal government, they will have to park it somewhere there. Do you know how much it costs per day? Nigeria spends because Buhari will be in London to attend to, you know, uh, to get his medical attention. And then our private jet will be packed somewhere, not just his medical attention uh, the attention expenses that we'll be talking about. We'll equally be talking about the parking lot, how much is going to be costing Nigeria. And at the end of the day, they still made away with this amount of na na Naira, you know, leaving Nigeria with no good schools, no good roads, as in nothing, no, no good hospitals. Tell me what Buhari's administration built for us. He left us with heap of debt for Nigerians to pay money we can't even finish paying in the next maybe 10, 20 to 30 years. That is what the Buhari's administration left. And Tinubu told us it's going to continue from where Buhari stopped. That is just exactly what we are seeing. Don't forget that they've started borrowing both internally and externally. They've started collecting from the uh, central bank. And at the same time, they are looking for money everywhere outside the country. But somebody made, made a gesture of <laughs> our government like it will get to a time that no country will even be willing again to give Nigeria any money, as in to borrow us any money. Because when they look at the way our uh, government officials, our politicians are living, they don't live like people who are in need. Before you go to ask somebody to borrow you money, you must show or showcase that you really need that money. But their flamboyant lifestyle does not even uh, showcase that Nigeria really needs help. So this is coming from Ruben Apati. And on his website, he said federal government uh, to take over Union Bank, Keystone, uh, Keystone Bank, allegedly owned by MFLA. So MFLA, MFLA has been accused to have bought these three banks, Union Bank, Keystone, uh, and the last one here, sorry, Polaris Bank. So he is the owner of these three banks. And it was alleged that he didn't buy them, uh, you know, uh, considering due process in mind. He didn't do it well. So the federal government is saying that they are going to take over all these banks because the process of buying it, uh, you know, it's not transparent. He must have used, he used the federal government's money to buy it. So that is still allegedly, allegedly. So we are yet to see how, although some of these banks have come out, their spokesperson have come out to say no, that everything was done, you know, considering due process in mind. So we are yet to see how all this unfolds. And uh, yes, see, this is more Alo saying that the way uh, Tinubu is going after MFLA is not going to help uh, Nigeria in terms of, you know, uh, Maybe in having some investors come into the country, it says that uh, Tinubu's vendetta probe, media trial of MFLA, damaging Nigeria's reputation economy, Kingsley Moralo. Anyway, he also faulted Moralo, that Moralo was never a good CBN governor. But nevertheless, you giving him this media trial is not going to help Nigeria. More, more people would be so discouraged in coming to Nigeria to invest and all that. Yes, because nobody knows if this is still a witch, a witch hunt, hunt on uh, MFLA, or is it really that they really want to recover some of the money that he made away with. We don't know. We are yet to know that.